Hey everybody, Christine Thayers. I am back for episode number 11 of Secret Family Recipe. And I am bringing you one of a family favorites as always, and it's a pasta dish. So much to your delight, I'm sure. Everyone seems to really like the pasta. I get the most views with that, and that's great. So this week we're making my family's version of uh, Provençal, the Fanata family. That's my mom's side, okay? Um, so it's a really delicious, easy. Provençal is something you can mix up and make different. You can add different vegetables into it if you like. This is our version. So this is a very special week, but I'm gonna get started and then I'll talk about the week because we have to boil the pasta. So I have a nice deep pot ready and boiling to add the mini rigatonis into. So the mini rigs are one of my favorite shapes. The shape of the pasta is very important and the size of it to go with your meal. Not small that goes in soups, not spaghettis, right? We use, so I'm putting that in because the water was boiling. And don't forget, we nice, need to add a nice amount. Oh gosh, there goes the water in my oil again, which is already heated. We add at least a pasta spoonful of salt, Red Cross salt. Red Cross salt is saltier. So I'm going to put this in. It should taste a little bit like the ocean, as they say. Okay. We're gonna let that come to a boil. We'll leave it covered almost so that it doesn't spill over. I'm gonna put a spoon in there so we don't have a boil over. Okay. As always, we have our extra virgin olive oil in this deep saute pot. You obviously know now, that's like my favorite pot, right? In the house. So, I'm grabbing my cover. Remember last week we had that, we don't want that to happen. So what are we using? We're using a diced large onion, okay? Same as what we've had before. We make them nice and small. And these have to cook pretty well. So I'm gonna leave that in there. I have it on, let's say a medium heat, and I'll have to toss those around pretty often. So I really want them coated. The oil was a little bit deeper this time than it normally is because um, it, the vegetables absorb a lot and I just want it to be coated and, and not dry. I want them to be moist. My pasta is boiling. I'm going to give that a little stir. About 10 minutes on that. Actually, we're gonna eliminate that cover. We don't really need it once it starts to go. And the, the boiling water, you can lower down to a medium as well. Okay, onions are doing good and we'll leave those set. Okay, extra virgin olive oil, don't forget. So what else are we using? This is about two and a half large zucchini cubed, okay, peeled and cubed. One of my favorite things in the world, artichoke hearts, okay? These are from a can, okay, an Italian brand, which Cento uh, comes in just water, so plain. You don't want anything that's already has oil and seasoning. You don't want it, even the frozen, normally I'll use a frozen vegetable because it has no preservative in it, but unfortunately the frozen were tougher, much tougher. So these, nice and soft, I, I rinse the water out, I put clean water in, strain them, and then I get my like kind of preservatives off of them as much as I possibly can. Frozen miniature peas. Frozen peas, they're delicious. Pilati pomodoro, right? Already then we crush with either the immersion blender or your hand. I did my hand this time because um, they stay a little chunkier and I like them chunky in the Provençal. Okay, salt, pepper to taste and oregano. All right, and lastly, a little locatelli cheese to spread over. And this is a choice. You could use um, a third cup of light cream or not. You don't have to use it. If you do, it kind of makes it a little bit tastier. It is delicious, it's heavier, but you don't have to. 
And again, I will save for this dish a little bit of the pasta water. FYI, Grandma Rose is not here today, unfortunately. We had a party last night and she got a little tired from, well, it wasn't a party party. It was a family gathering and we had the family gathering because we had a very special occasion. And um, I'm gonna show you what the occasion was. Hang on just a second as I log in here. Okay, so what was my special occasion? These two, it's Jesse and Madeline. They got engaged and I am so excited. This is the third of my children. Getting married or engaged is very exciting. So we were here, we were celebrating. Chima got a little tired, so she's, she is resting today. I'm like, okay with that. People will be disappointed and you can give her a shout out in your comments and tell her how much she's missed. Because she loves doing this and she feels useful and she should feel useful. But Madeline and Jesse being engaged, it's really exciting. They are um, together since their beginning at Fordham University. They're both now graduated several years, and I'm trying to guess how many years they're together. Let's see, oh, if I get it wrong, seven, eight, something like this, a long time. And, you know, so this is something we've all been waiting for, <laughs> and we're very excited about. Uh, so, it's really a, a pretty cool thing. Everyone's putting their engagements off, Maddie and Sean are engaged, and. They're putting their, in, their ceremonies off, so it's kind of crazy with this whole thing. But guess what? All that matters is that we're together, we're happy, we're healthy, right? And we're eating. <laughs> what else is there? Oh, one more thing. Cheers. Cheers to Madeline and Jesse. Salud. Okay. So, let's get back to our, our recipe. We are cooking our onions. What does that look like? Looks like they're not done. So we're gonna keep that on the stove a little bit longer. I'm raising it up to get them going. And checking my pasta. We want it al dente, we do not want it cooked. Too soft. And this is, and every pasta cooks slowly. So even if you have the same shape, you can't mix two different in the same pot. They will cook at a different pace altogether. Fresh pasta is the bomb that counts. Nobody can replace fresh pasta. It's actually the best. This is not, not ready. Okay. I am now going to move the onions. They are cooked a bit. I'm going to move them to the sides. And I'm going to add our cubed zucchini. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's let them set for just a minute, trying to push them down to hit the oil. Sometimes you have to add a little bit more of the olive oil. Okay, and that's fine. We're not covering it yet. Let's grab some more virgin olive oil because I'm, I'm actually done with the one I had. Now I have the big McCoy. Here we go. We'll, we'll use that one. Okay, check the pasta one more time. Let that set. Not yet. Now it's on a rolling boil, very ro low rolling boil. You don't want to make that boil over. Point back and I'm going to toss these in now with the onions, okay? Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. I may not add oil, we'll see. Once I put in the other vegetables, it's a possibility. Make sure it all gets tossed in. If she was here, you know what she'd be using, right? She'd be using her fork. I'm using the rubber spatula. Okay. This is on, let's say it's a medium high heat. Okay, they're beautifully coated. Okay, so Madeline comes from Saratoga. You saw her family, a picture of her family not so long ago when we made pizza. So 
cheers to the Bocans. I can't wait to see you up at Anne's Washington Inn, which is probably where our festivities will happen when they do get married, and it is beautiful. There's the racetrack, there's this gorgeous inn that looks like Laura Ashley and Ralph Lauren grew up there, okay? So, it's a special place, I'm very excited. I wish it was tomorrow, but what can we do? We'll wait. Alrighty, back to this. Okay, but they don't have to cook all the way. You're not waiting for this to get soft because the vegetables take a while. And remember, you can pre-have all of this ready to go if you, you know, want to get home from work and just start cooking, you can and have it ready. This would take really 25 minutes for everything to get softened and done. At this point, I'm going to add in my artichoke part. I buy them whole in the can because I like to cut them myself and I feel like they have a little bit more consistency. When they're already cut, to me, they're kind of mushy. So let's blend this in together. I'm gonna lower it down now to medium, no more. Because while I'm still adding, those might be cool and cool off the whole mix. I think I will add just a tiny smidgen I have to open this up, of uh, this um, extra virgin olive oil. Just a smidgen. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. Mm. See how green that is? Gorgeous. It's a beautiful color. This is all green. Now we're gonna add some of our tomato. This will add our color, okay? So I did do it with my hands. It's nice and chunky. And that was one, two, this is how we're gonna count. <laughs> Start with five, that should be enough. And if you put more tomato, it's not bad, but it's not a tomato sauce, it's, it's vegetable. So you really wanna taste the vegetable, each vegetable. You don't want to overpower it with just the tomato. Okay. If something falls on the stove, I practice the two second rule, or is it three, something like this. What a hot yeah. Nice and mixed in, see that? Okay. There we go. And it got cooled off. So now the peas, they don't go in until the very, very end because they're really not something that you need to cook. You're, you're heating them. Peas are not a hard vegetable. Um, so those are easy. Now we're going to add our salt. Again, not going to technically measure this out. I'm just going to add what I think by eye and then taste, right? Salt and pepper to taste. So here's our pepper. You might like it a little spicy. You can add red pepper if you'd like. Also, there's like other vegetables that even I had as a kid. This is the oregano. Okay, and this comes out fast, so we're gonna be very delicate. I love oregano, so I can always add more into my own serving if I'd like. At this point, I am covering it. I'm lowering it to a medium to low heat. Don't wanna burn the bottom. So when I was growing up, my grandmother would have this for me for lunch. I'd come home, my little uniform, from school at lunchtime, and she would have this, like pasta Provencal, made for me this way or in a soupy style. Soupy style, as we call it, soupy style, is when you have um, the same exact process, except you're doing it in a deeper pot, a nice big, you know, bottom, deeper pot, and you're adding about a quart, maybe a quart and a half of water and you don't want it to be really like a lot of liquid. You just want it to be, you know, soaked into the vegetables. And you'd have it that way in the winter time. It's really nice. But as a pasta dish, any time of the year, it's great. Mm. No, not ready. Okay. So that's still cooking. And this is cooking. I do want to demonstrate straining out the pasta. I will save this much water, pasta water. It doesn't mean that it's an exact measurement. I'll probably add maybe a half of this or a third of this into my pot once I do add in 
the rest of the, um, like a couple of big pasta spoons of this vegetable mixture. And then I'll add in a little cream. This is about a third of a cup, light cream. The pasta water mixes with the light cream and it thins it out. So again, in any tomato you would have in here, turns that beautiful color of pink. So let's see if we can demonstrate the pasta being strained out. I don't want to take it out too soon. It's al dente, but it's not, it's not all the way there. Not all the way there yet. Let's see. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Hmm. I'm gonna take it out. I think. A little hard in the center. Mm. Well, wait. I'll make my taste tester come taste, and then I can strain the pasta. I know the taste tester loves to come in. Yeah, it's painful for you. I know. It's painful. Absolutely painful. This is our finished product. Can you see that? Do you want that? I think you do. It's really good. There you go. This is why I look like a bowling uh -huh. ball. Oh my God. It's amazing, as always. Very that's well. his favorite word, amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's mean? describing me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go away. So, okay, let's take the pasta out. In my sink, I have the strainer, plus I have the measuring cup. So I'm pouring into the measuring cup, save the water, and the rest goes into the strainer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get this right out. I never usually demonstrate the pasta for you, which is kind of cool. Always save a little bit of the water. You never know. So, put this back over here so you can see what I'm doing. Turn off that heat. Make sure this is low enough. I'm going to stir that in one second. Okay? Taking my cream. I'm putting my cream right into the pasta. grabbing the water. I'm gonna add some of the water in. And again, you know, you can always put more to see how it's going and stir this all in together. Yes, nice, very nice, like this. Okay, and I'm going to steal for the purposes of this demonstration. I wouldn't normally do it until this was all the way done taking this off here just to show that you're mixing in all those ingredients. Yes. You're putting in your peas. Let me see if I want them all. This was about, oh, I'd say about 12 ounces. Because they're the little ones, they kind of get lost in the whole thing. Oh, don't they look so cute? Look, isn't that so nice? Okay, so now, as you know, what I would do to keep this nice and soft is I would add in a spoonful of this, right? Two, mix this together. Then you're ready to put it into your dish and then add some of this over the top of it. It is the best way, if you want to put it in a big bowl, you certainly can, and put present it on your table. Let's make sure we keep it covered, we keep it low, the pasta is done. Don't cover it again because you don't want, to, <laughs> you don't want it to be overcooked. There we go. You want it to cool off. So, I promised that I would be, do a shout out to my friend Skip and Abby Marchetti. I would be doing their virtual open house today, but instead I am celebrating with them because we got seven offers on their house and that means I am not doing a virtual open house today. I'm here with you. So everybody, shout out to Skip, shout out to Abby. So happy for you guys and happy that you guys can join me. Remember, there's no place like home. <laughs>